Justin, as requested, that you stop whispering so much. <laughs> He's editing yesterday's video already. Really? What did I whisper? <laughs> I don't remember. But... Like, wh whisper during the show? <laughs> oh, fuck me. He's told you to speak up. <laughs> oh, he wants me to speak up? I thought yeah, he just yeah, doesn't yeah. want me to talk at Damn, all. No, no, no. No, you could. Damn, Nikki. You whisper. What, what did I whisper? Listen, I Dustin, you. when I react, like, I'm, like, thinking, so I just, like, slightly talk, and so it's, like, I'm so sorry. I will try to, you know I'm loud, so I will try to voice my loudness. I kind of prefer you being a little bit more quiet. Go, <laughs> this bitch. I missed you. I miss hanging out with you. Put that in the video. Put that, what he said in the video. And then show the world that he's an ass. Okay, we are starting Kala. What is up, everybody? We're the normies, and we're watching Dark, season one, episode seven. It doesn't say the title right here, so that's unfortunate. Oh, it's Crossroads. It's called Crossroads. Are that's why sure? he did the X thing. Yes, that's why. Ah, nice. Okay. Nice mark. So, um, last episode, season six. Oler oh, found out his brother. He saw the chin yes. body. He was like, yeah. okay, confirmed that's mods because he saw the cut on the chin and everything. Yes. yes. And Jonas went back in time. And we don't know if he's going to be able to come back in time. He yeah. saw his mama in, like, as a kid. Yeah, Hannah. It's fresh in our minds. We just saw it yesterday. Yes, Look yes, at us. Yes. I'm really Jesse, excited. Hannah. What do you guys think that's going to happen in this episode? First of all, Crossroads is in Indianapolis. We're the hey. Crossroads of America. Yes, hey, we are. Crossroads, my favorite Bone Thugs and Harmony song. What, what? And I still think that Jonas is the hooded Daryl Dixon. And he sat and talked to himself. Jonas is. The young, you think Jonas is the guy in the hotel room yeah, at Regina's hotel room? Okay. He sent himself a packet. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. just it throwing it out there. Anything could be a possibility right now. Okay. Rena, what do you think yeah. is going to happen this episode? So I can agree because you're usually right. You just said what I thought last episode. Uh, I was yeah. kidding, okay. Oh, she, you said that too? She, she did. She, she originally said <laughs> no, that. No, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Um... I, I just don't know what happened because like Mikhail, when Jonas goes he's Mikhail, he's such a, he's a young kid. Like he has no understanding of what's really going to happen. So if anything, I don't know, honestly. I'm just excited to see how this unravels. I'm still really questioning everything personally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see if Jonas meets Miko. That's my, that's my one thing that I'm ready for. But that's for. what I was saying. Like, he can't tell him, like, it, it disrupts the timeline. You can't tell him, like, hey... You're here, but you become my dad. You have to stay. I mean, I probably sound stupid saying this, but I think that they can go back and forth. And I, it, thinking that it not disrupt the timeline since oh it was my God, like, look, But I get like where they're coming from. That they can't it, live a double life. That's two schools. That's two different. Like, well, well. So you know, there's always different rules for time travel. We don't know what this, what universe this is one is. is. Yeah. So, so you guys like, saying if they go there for a period of time, it could be no time moving in that for future time. No, Maybe. I think what Nikki might be alluding to, or at least what I think she is, is, is multiple timelines are now created. Like yeah, that their timeline where they came from will always still be. But then where how's their bodies there? Their bodies aren't there though. Their bodies from that timeline literally went to a different timeline. Because that's the present. Their present bodies went to the past. So then yeah, so then their bodies in that other timeline have disappeared. Now they have, but they yeah. were still there all But the I before. think that they can come back. They still grew up and lived up until the point they went back. And make time. a different timeline though. But then they're gonna be living multiple lives. It's not, they, they, they're not, no, they're not because, cloning themselves. Because we need them out of the old, oh, uh, I, I don't know. You I, they're confused. not cloning themselves, so they can't make multiple timelines. They're going to be living double lives, double timelines, if they can go back and forth. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, know. I, we get be. what you're saying. Yes, but, but we're, like. <laughs> but we're no. also saying. If, if, if they could create branching dimensions, then they could go back and forth and do some crazy wild shit. But I feel like the show. For everything, it's like all written out in advance. I think it's gonna like be cyclical. I don't think, I don't think there's gonna be different dimensions. We'll, we'll, see. Kind of thinking. we'll see. Okay. We'll I'm see. thinking too much Marvel and like you know DC and Lost. Lost. Are there multiple dimensions in all of those? In the you don't watch Flash and other stuff in in, in Legends yeah, of Tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, Str Doctor Strange, there's like thirty different dimensions in that motherfucker. Yes, but in each dimension, there's a di there's like two there's different Peter Parkers, there's different varieties of different Hulks. There's a, that's what I'm saying. We have one Mikkel and one Jonas. Yeah, that we know of. That we know of. We don't know if they're. But if then you Jonas see Mod's body come back in the future. Okay, let's press play. <laughs> 
We're not going to get this argument. You literally see, there's no multiple mods. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I've not seen a different mods. You know what I mean? That's the only mods well, I know. Mods is dead dead. He, he's dead dead. He's za like, zapped in the I eye I totally dead. get what you guys are saying, that they're like, maybe, I get it. We just don't know the rules yet. Yes, all we don't know. And I, I think it'll be neat, like you say, like they have to... I think no, they're just I'll there now. The, I don't, I'm I don't think they can the go science back. of comic books and Doctor Who, basically, personally. Then there's multiple realities! But listen! They were originally about the same! Jonathan Mikkel, we're for the world. Mikkel is us. missing! So. Mikkel's all. Let's just press play. <laughs> just press it. The multiple dimensions and those comic books were already made. That... Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. See you up. Who is Whoa. The, uh,. Kid. Oh my god. D Death his kid? ear. Yasin. That's so sad. Y'all seen him in That's Yasin? That's, that's what you guys said, Death kid, right? I thought yeah. that was, uh, yeah. Y'all seen him since episode? Oh my gosh, his ear, bro. This melody's haunting. <gasps> or is that him? <gasps> what the f- Is it? Ich erinnere mich. What do you remember? Mysterio. Ich erinnere mich an alles. I thought Yasin was Indian. He seemed like. Maybe that wasn't Yasin. Whoa, whoa, this is not a market substitute. Support the oh, official shit. release. Alright, you better not be watching this without having watched it before. Support us on Patreon and get early access and uncut reactions to Dark, as well as many other shows that helps support us see the lifeblood of our channel. Like this video, comment, subscribe. Here's uh, uh, Ulrich. This show is so good, it makes us like, discuss we so arguing. hard that we forget. We were arguing too much. Does the show länger tot ist? Und nach seinem Tod irgendwie konserviert wurde? Konserviert? Wie tief gefroren? Yo, he must have been killed and sent directly mm -hmm. to this exact time. In welchem Zeitraum der Konservierung sprechen wir denn? 32 years, buddy. <laughs> A lunar solar cycle? But can DNA testing confirm? Yeah, that, yeah, that's still yeah. yeah, yeah, that should, like, shouldn't it? Yeah, he's been dead that long, technically. Oh, oh, I love this fucking song! Oh! Sorry. This is my favorite! Oh, I this guy. Not. November. Ich weiß, es klingt bescheuert, aber welches Jahr denn? 86. <laughs> How do you just walk away like, okay. Suchst du jemanden? Michael Kahnwald. Kenn ich nicht. Hm. Und ist Kahnwalds Sohn? Die Krankenschwester? Die hat keine Kinder. Oh my god, it's so weird as shit he told her that. God, it's confirming everything in his head though. She looks like what I thought Hermione would always look I, like. She does, yeah. She, and she doesn't even... Ew, that's rude. It really um, is. She doesn't look like who she grew up to be. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, yeah. But she grew up to be rich and like didn't want to be... No, I'm not saying like character casting. I'm just saying Physical. like it's very, yeah, very different like demeanor. You wouldn't think Regina would look like that. But yeah, I get it that she grew up rich and shit. But. No, I think she was picked on and grew up to be... Yeah. Try to be better than everybody. And look better. Ich bin an der Fall mit dem Bruder dran, Anzeige wegen Vergewaltigung. Ich meine, wir haben ihn in Betracht gezogen, ob der nicht vielleicht mit dem Fuck off. Ja, das war's. Ja, das war ein Kopf ist ein Ass. Das hier sind nicht mehr die 50er. Wir ermitteln nicht aufgrund von Gefühlen, sondern von Indizien. Du hast noch drei Monate Zeit bis zu deiner Pensionierung. Dann kannst du machen, was du willst. Und so lange machst du, was ich will. I can't believe they're gonna like try to him for the disappearance too. Oh, he's going in. Is that over? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. His wife's gonna come and be like, what the fuck is going on? You crazy? It's like, he's not looking for the, his, their son anymore. It's his brother. But connected to the son thing. I like how you laid it out in uh -huh, a circle. Circle. Can I tell you something? It's about the lost Nielsen Jung. On the evening that Look at his ear, right? And face. So that has to be him? That was in the room? Mm-hmm. The night in the near room. Documenting the time. Oh shit! What? So Helge actually get it got in the room. So then, what time period was that kid in? It was like eighteen. It was way earlier than. So then he was the first one, first one we know of then, and then Mods, and then Eric and Mikkel. But he didn't go anywhere. Like he went, but he came back. Landstraße runter. Wolltest du noch vorhin? Ist der Waldweg nicht kürzer? Ich habe noch was besorgt für meinen Vater. What did you pick up, huh? Wonder how long it's been happening. Yeah. You know? It's 86. So. I don't know if he was like years prior or if yeah. he's from the future. It's going like, I don't know. 
No, he saw his outfit. That's definitely prior. That was yeah. not an 80s outfit. That was like a 50s. Yeah. <clears throat> Bitch ass detective never followed up on it, did he? He was like, yeah, he took the forest. Didn't take the forest road. It was weird. Oh my god. So it's raining parallels. in the regular season. Yeah. It's raining in this one. In the past. Like, in the past. Wow. Yeah. And like Charlotte and Egon are both like on a search right now. It's great. That's Hellgate again. That's Hellgate kid. Statement. Doppler. I gotta rewind this shit sometimes. Yeah, bro. So Helga gave a statement and I don't know who Doppler is. I forgot which character that is. Wusstest du, dass dein Schwiegervater 1986 und zwei meines Bruders eine Zeugenaussage machen sollte? Nein. Und ich bin alle Unterlagen und Recht gegangen. Helga sollte sich. Dann ist Helga gonna suspect your husband even more now. Oh, so he's the psychiatrist's dad. That's why they were both hiding together. Yeah. No, he was hiding with his Ulrich dad. Wie jetzt denkst du, Helga hat 86 Mats entführt und 33 Jahre später Mikkel und die anderen Jungs. Im Pflegeheim. Er ist 75 Jahre alt, dement. Und an dem Abend, als Mikkel verschwunden ist, da war Helge bei mir. Am Abend, bevor Jasin verschwunden ist, hat Weller Helge im Wald gefunden. Ja. Und ihn wieder zurück ins Heim gebracht. Verrennst dich da in etwas? Vielleicht auch nicht. Damn. Damn. Be like, don't you remember the birds you collected when you was a kid? 33 years ago? No, ma'am. She's gonna so suspect her husband now. And he, under, un, under the bunker, he's with Ulrich's dad. Okay, but he just insinuated that his, her dad. father in law yeah, yeah, was Helgi. part of it. Yeah, from, yeah, years ago. Yeah, Helgi was his father in law. That's right. We need to draw a family tree chart. We really fucking do. No, honestly, watching it back to back is really helping me now. I'm good, so. <laughs> Be like, all right, whatever you can. Oh, uh, is that the forest path? It is. Ooh, and she's gonna be there in the present. Is she gonna like feel a like a rumble through her or something? You know, they, they drive through there. That that would be the ultimate timey wimey shit for me. I like timey wimey, blimey. They do so well with the music. Hmm. Someone did use it recently though. I remember when the that dude had Eric's dad move something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what I'm that should look dangerous. Man, how are they so okay going in caves, these people? I don't know, dude. I, I would, would never do this shit. Like it, ever. Know. Alone, ever. I want to scare you guys so bad right now, but I, I won't. I'm not going to do it. Once per season, I'm going to stick to my rule. <laughs> oh. I know I'm getting you. You know, everyone was so happy that you did that. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> was it yellow? What was that? Paint? Oh, it's from that um, jar. The lethal jars. Remember that? The the ones with the marks on them? The three... The danger sign? Oh, 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 oh like, the, like the nuclear that? canisters? Yeah, nuclear canisters. Oh, they were they were all removed from there. Yeah, but they, they were in there. Last yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, they were in there. They were in there. with dem Jungen. What willst du denn von Ines? Listen, Linda, stop asking a lot of questions. Ja, kann man so sagen. Ansonsten, wenn ich sie sehe, sag ich ihr Bescheid. Nein, schon in Ordnung, machen Sie sich keine Umstände. Oh my god, I just want to see it done. Get out. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. Feel bad for you now. That was. Oh, uh. Did, did Ulrich come here last time? Because she wouldn't have known about the canisters, right? If she didn't come in last yeah. time. Or did she come in? No, no, she didn't. She looks shooketh. Okay. Couldn't even notice his ear now. You know what I mean? Like, I never even looked at it before. I never did either. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. Oh my god. Bro, you're gonna give him a hard attack, yeah. bro. This is not how you approach someone. Why not? Yeah. 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 It's like any time a character wakes up, it's like them, you know, like it shows the next scene. Because it showed him right when the, it showed the little kid version of him at the beginning. It showed him yeah. waking up. It's like those cuts aren't just coincidences. Do you see him? Same. Is that it? 
Or is he a little younger? He's a little younger. It's the same person. He's traveling through time. Who are you? I thought you were him. <laughs> I thought you were Jonas. Was bedeutet Regina, dass Ulrich mein Großvater ist und Martha hat deine Tante. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. I just realized that. Oh, oh, I just realized that. that. I was like putting the fathers together, not the whole family. Oh shit. Oh, that nasty. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We we agreed with her. She was right. Yeah, yeah. I said the whole time. I don't know what. And you won't be bored, thank you. Unless there's different timelines. But I think the rules are clear now. But you didn't try to do it. Every decision to something is a decision against something else. A life for a life. Damn. Where will you decide? Okay, come back. Something has to do with him. I know that you want to find him with all means, but the purpose is not to rectify all means. I would have taken you on the first day. Helga has said he can't change the past, the future, the future. What does that mean? Why did he say that? Helga is the world. Hell, he has dementia, so no one's gonna believe him. Or maybe he just sounds crazy when people said that he has it. And that's what's making him try to go crazy. Sorry, man, sometimes crazy people, sometimes they're just right. It's eating away at them. The hell, where is this from, Raider? They found it by now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in the show. You must not be lying. But I don't lie. I had it wanted. Where, Ooh, what, where did she get this eye? And then your face? What is that happened? Her dad, maybe? Bin ich oh, girl, come on. Yeah. Come on, that does not help his case. Someone has seen you. Then he lied. That is what he said. Maybe that's another reason why she beat Regina's ass in the present, because she still didn't know that uh, yeah. it wasn't actually her. I told him he would have a condom. But he would never do it. He would never do it. Who punched you, sis? Poor this kid. <laughs> like, oh god, she knows. Oh god, <laughs> she's after she been that. knowing. She's after that phone call. Time to come clean, bro. You're gonna I'm talk not saying you're doing stupid shit, bro. You're talking about time travel and shit. That's been too long. Never meet me. You mean so that? Seit ich dich kennen, wolltest du raus aus Lynn. Bist du eigentlich jemals glücklich gewesen? Yo, the shot composition is dope. I know I always talk about that, Dustin. It is. All the shit over on his side, her side being all like. His uh, video mind works really well. Shut up. Natürlich bin ich glücklich gewesen. Ich weiß es, Ulrich. Was weißt du? Anna und du. Oh. There it is. Can't even look at her. Irgendwie habe ich es die ganze Zeit gewusst. Hab's nur nicht sehen wollen. Ich kann das erklären. Bitte nicht, Ulrich. Can't explain that. What, she trip, fall, landed on your dick? Deine Mutter hat vorhin angerufen. Unser Sohn ist verschwunden und sie redet die ganze Zeit nur über Mats. Ich dachte immer, die Arschlöcher kommen aus meiner Familie. I think it was her dad then that punched her in the face. And she just said, I thought my family was full of assholes. Yeah, that kind of shit always happens to the people that don't deserve it the most. Mm hmm Oh, my God. Are you still gonna talk to him? Come on. He could talk to him. No, I mean, but he knows. Who are you gonna say? Uh, yeah, with Jonas. It's Hannah. Where's his parents? I'm so confused. Oh my god. It's like. <clears throat> he can't, because Mikkel's gonna be like, how'd you get here? So you can't talk to him. I mean, Mikkel probably just as confused as how he got there. Yeah, but Mikkel has to live there, he, and then. But Jonas has to go back. Did Mikkel go through the doors also? Every decision is a decision against something else. It's the butterfly effect, man. Everything he does is going to affect the future. Or maybe it always was. I don't know. Your daddy, boy. Or you, my daddy, boy. I mean, do something. He can't, man. Mikkel's going to question where he goes. He's about to be like, I don't give a fuck. Gotta be a chameleon. I have always thought that he lived. He lived for 33 years. I'm free. 
Unglücklich. Du darfst niemals aufhören zu hoffen. Da draußen ist genauso viel Licht wie Dunkelheit. Katharina meinte, du wolltest mir was sagen. Eine Woche bevor Mats. Da habe ich etwas beobachtet. Vor dem Haus gegenüber hat sich ein Pfarrer... Lauer. Ich fand das einartig, dass sich ein Pfarrer so streitet. Und heute früh habe ich denselben Mann gesehen. Nein, nicht den Pfarrer. Es war derselbe Mann. Oh. Stranger. Ich weiß das, weil er etwas am Ohr hatte. Das war vernarbt oder gestellt. Helgi, oh. oh. just can't remember. Helgi's a stranger? I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh, well, there's the hatch that Regina's husband was in. With Elric's dad. Here we go. It yeah. is Helgi. Bro, what? But his own son, Eric, was in that room, in the present. So did he do this to Mads? Oh, shit. What? What? <laughs> what does that mean? What? This is a Helgi episode for sure. Wait a minute. But Helgi was in the weird room. Right. I'm so confused. So is there always is it always changing? Like the, the person who's in the weird room becomes the hooded man and then and then some of them die, some of them just don't take. Wusstest du, dass dein Vater 86 bei der Polizei vorgeladen war? Nein. Das ist doch random. Die Hütte am Waldweg. Warum hat Helge die überhaupt behalten nach allem, was ihm da passiert ist? Wieso fragst du das? Wann warst du das erste Mal in der Hütte? War das schon 86? Like hell of questions. Hat Vater 86 in der Hütte gewohnt? Ich weiß nicht. Helga's accident? Wann war der Unfall? 12. November 1986. That's like. Oh. Helga's accident. Maybe like whatever made him have dementia or whatever. How long has he had dementia? I thought that's something I just started. He's like, I think he's in again. He probably is like being used as a prawn and his memories went in and out or something. That's why people don't believe. I don't know, man. That's a theory right there. <clears throat> Damn. He's starting, he has the bug in his ear now. He's starting to wonder. Trishan's grandfather. He's going back. Was it? Was it? Was it? Uh, Jonas. Jonas. Bro, and he's. She's gonna. Yeah, she can oh go my She'll god! See stop. She's gonna see it. She's gonna see stop, it. Stop! 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 Where's she gonna see? Him coming out the door. If she's if she's at the same spot. No, he's gonna come out of the cave, right? She's at the cabin. And look, the lights happening in the past. Yeah, cause he's like, damn. He's like someone's going through time again. Yeah. She's where those guys were in the the hatch at the cabin. Yeah. Yeah. So why the fuck? Nobody knew Jonas was missing for this amount of time. No, I, guess I mean it's only a couple of hours after school. Didn't right? she say she wants to know if a kid is missing for just a few hours? <coughs> I think he had to come back the next day, cause like a day passed. He stayed the night over there. You yeah. Know what I mean, so he had yeah. to wait the next night. Yeah, no, he's asked about him. Always shit. have to do a nine seventeen. Well, like, we don't know what Hannah's doing. She probably she's a mess. Shit, bro. We don't count her. Oh, yeah, gosh. Hannah fucked her dad, not her grandpa. No, I'm I saying that. no. I'm saying Hannah oh. is fucking her son's grandfather. <gasps> Jonas is Ulrich is Jonas's grandfather. I mean, oh, it's yeah. a wallpaper to the room. Damn <gasps> that! Damn the hatch is the room. Oh, that's scary. What is that? Is it on the other side of this wall, or was it was it was it this room? No, it was the room. It was the room. Damn, he's back already. How and the there's the couch. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, he's back. Glove sun shakes out. Bro, you just had that whole experience, he came back. What did the stranger enlighten you with? So he wasn't the same hooded guy, by the way. No. One was Helgi and the other was, uh... Yeah. Uh, so, uh let's just, we're calling him Jonas for now, but it's probably not. Yeah. 50-50. Yeah. I don't think it's Jonas either. I mean, he's, he's bouncing back and forth. Damn. <gasps> But why? But why? 
Your grandma's alive. Go talk to her. So he's not gonna be fucking with Marta no more. He's like, hey, that's nasty. Since you my aunt. Yeah, that nasty. He can't. I mean, Josh. I mean, Josh... technically. No, bro. That is his blood. They do DNA tests. That's one hundred percent. Hey, hey, hey. Jon Snow did it. Y'all didn't give a fuck. He hey, fucked his we aunt. gave a fuck. I don't know about you. Bur, I kind of gave a fuck. I think. Well, let's go back in reactions. Who cares? He didn't know he was fucking his aunt. Yeah, he didn't, but now he does. That's so cute. You need to talk to the author of that book. That's who the stranger talked to also. That's uh, Mad's necklace? Was it? I don't remember Mad's having a necklace. Bro, Helgi, you are <laughs> sus as hell. Just marching off into the woods. It's, my thing that doesn't make sense is like, there that was the room, obviously. Helgi Maybe. was a kid when it happened to him, but now Helgi was doing it to other people, supposedly. But I don't know if it was that room or not. No, it was that room because it even looks exactly the same when they like pan mm -hmm. out. You it's know just what I mean? weird. And it just because that door was right there. Oh, what the fuck! I got chills. Bro, my brain just feels melted. I am. Yeah, my brain's melted as well. No, some people don't come back when they go in there. Stop. Oh, dork. We need to watch this in the dork. Yeah, dude. Now we're back in the... Past Helgi. Damn, they did a good job. <gasps> it was Matt's necklace. He did it. Or he... Why is he doing that? Why would you keep the necklace, you freak? Okay. So that is definitely the room. Does the room, does the room change when people go, like... Or like, I don't know. I don't, I just, I, I don't know. I have a thought like Helgi went through it and like somehow he's like meant to, whoa. It's a picture frame. Who the fuck? Noah? Is that the, oh, that's the pasture. Is that Noah? Is it the pasture? Yeah. Yep. What the fuck are you? He's a demon dog. Bro, he's so aged. He has, no, not, he has not aged not. at all. Dude. Like not right now, later. No, he, he looked the same in all the scenes we've seen him. I'm so fucking good. November 5th, November 9th. They're just written differently. Huh? But if that was Vods' bot, never mind. This is cool. God so, damn, this is like my favorite show we're watching right now. I feel like I said nothing but wrong things the whole time. I'm fucking confused. <laughs> I'm, but, I'm, I'm kinda not. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. So, you're kinda not? Explain the November 9th, November No, that's 9th the only thing. thing. No, no, that was the only part I'm confused about. Oh, that's the why only is, thing. Yeah, because why is the year the same? That makes zero sense. Because, like, if that was supposed to be Helgi in 1953, Mods was in the, like, what year was Mods killed? He, Helgi, Helgi didn't die, though. But Helgi was a kid. That could have been the same. Mods and Helgi as children are not the same. Helgi's an adult here dragging Mods. Slow down, you're. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? I don't know, bro. She is spitting hella, <laughs> hella statements out of us. Listen to me. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, the body that adult Helgi just dragged, right? Yes, that, that was, was Mads. Mads. So, on the wall, it says 53. How can that be... That, that that year could not have happened to young Helgi and young Mads. The years are the, years are the same, even though the dates are different. Right. So but we wrong. never said that Helgi it happened in 1953. We said Helgi happened, but we just don't know when. What year but, is but Mads? He, but he likely happened in 19. That's what I'm trying right? to say. Because yeah. if he was a kid. The outfit he was he's wearing. Like old, like, but like, yeah. what year was Mads and, and Ulrich? Mads, 1980. 80, okay. 1986. 1986. Yeah, 86. That's where I'm confused. Why was why do you write the date 53 on the wall? That's the only thing I'm kind of confused about. Well, Helgi, 53 plus 33 is 86. Yes. So, Thank you. Yeah. You're good at math because I'm zero good at math. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 You're smart. good. This You're is smart. why she's here. <laughs> we brought her here for a reason. That's good. Okay. Okay. 
But so, really, God, so our notes nine, are so fucking pretty. What I the know, hell? Look at my, my go like normal, and then goes a cursive because I'm like. She has a diagram. I'm not even showing my chicken. I, I just have one because I was trying to figure out this whole Hannah and Miko situation. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, the parents of Ulrich and the aunt and mm-hmm. the uncle and Jonas was the one kid that they had. And Enos is like the sub grandmother. Yeah. Adoptive. She's adoptive not really grandmother. Related, though, yeah. yeah. So. So, so plus 33 is, is, is okay. 1986. So then what was the year Mikkel? So and that was November 4th, 1986. He went missing, correct? Yeah. And so what November, year? Wait, November 4th is when who went missing? Uh, Mods? So look, Mods went missing and then was killed November 5th. Was killed whatever. November 5th? Yeah, I mean, I think, or his body, his body moved forward in time November and fa- 5th. they found it November and then, 5th yeah, so they found it November, November 5th in, in the letter was supposed to be open November 3rd of ni- 2019 and that's what Mick, that's what Nichols is 86 missing. to 29 19 33 years I can do math what no. yeah it is yeah it is cool. yeah it is sorry cool so here's the question then why did Helgi survive why did the pre if the priest is the one doing this shit why did the priest allow Helgi to survive, but kill Mods, but then let Mikkel survive kind of in a different world, but then kill Eric? And I, don't then think, jo- I don't think he took Mikkel. I don't know what happened to Mikkel. I don't know if Mikkel went through the time stream door, or he just, like, fell. <laughs> like, but I don't how? know. Yeah, I don't the, know the, how the night they were all, like, running and shit from the rain, they were running from some shit. Like, they weren't running towards the cave. But, but Mikkel, Mikkel was. Well, yeah. Was he? Oh. I don't remember, actually. Was Mikkel he? was near. That's why I'm or asking. He, Mikkel got snatched. Then, oh yeah, because J- Jonas and them were running, and then Miko was gone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why I'm wondering. Point is, I mean, what's her name said three days from now is when uh, Helgi. Helgi's incident happens. Yeah, and so, so that Helgi's means right now it's November was... 9th. So November 9th was like that date, like what was the current date. So I think he maybe he was charting the time. Hel- like something, Helgi's something accident took was four November days. 12th, 2086. So if he was probably in that thing with the priest and in, in on the ninth of fifty three, so then it was on the twelfth of fifty three, he was released. Yes. Wait, who was released? Helgi. Helgi was. Helgi's I mean, Helgi, incident Helgi was in nineteen eighty six, though. Yeah. No, this is the nineteen fifty three. I'm, I'm talking about young Helgi. Yeah, okay, baby, young ba- Helgi. baby Helgi. Okay. I'm like he was in the in the hatch uh-huh. on the ninth. Did you guys say? Or on the 11th? We don't... I don't know. I just know that November 9th, 1986 is the current date here, and that's why he wrote that. But, like, I don't know what's the, what the significance of today's date was. This is great. I love it. I think Helgi's incident happened in 1920. 20? Holy shit. Let me, let me go back to the beginning and see what kind because of... Because it are. he looks 33 right here when he's dragging that body out. Yeah, cause, but it's 1986 here. This is 1986. He was right. That's one. Well, then why is he writing 1953? Exactly. I don't know. That's what I was saying. But then you I'm just not sure did, why he's did, writing 1953. You just did the math. It's 33 years in the future. Yeah. So this is 1986 because, you know, he was dragging Mads out and he was like mid-age, middle-aged Helgi. Okay. So this has to be 1986. Okay. But for some reason he wrote... 1953. Like, yeah, today, but today's date is 19, uh, November 9th. 9th, 1986, but for some reason he was writing 1953. Does that, maybe it's the time that Jonas went in and out of the hatch? Ye, mm, no, because I think Jonas is only in for like a day. Like yeah, he, he slept, slept overnight, overnight and he saw like the school and he saw his parents, they were definitely not in the 50s. Or something, maybe something's about to happen next episode, like tonight or something like that. I just don't know. I want to see the beginning again. We are rewinding. Oh my god, this show is like so crazy, dude. He, I mean, honestly, he could be dressed as a little twenties boy, but I think he he's thirties. So I mean, that that could be nineteen fifty. No, that's, that's definitely the hatch. That's not a. Yeah, it is. That's so like, oh, that's scary. That. What What are you putting out? This hatch if is this really is cool. the hatch, though, then why Sorry. is Eric in the hatch in twenty nineteen? I don't know. I think and the hatch is. I think this hatch only exists in a certain time period, and people keep going there. What the fuck? No, Charlotte just walked out of it. Yeah, but it didn't look like this. Like this version, this hatch as it this looks hatch, right now, like this oh, with the wallpaper above the hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. No, but. no, no. You guys are right because like Eric in the twenties was in the same blue room and everything. You guys are right. 
That's weird. That's another question that's going to go unknown. I don't know. Actually, I don't understand shit. Now. Well, see, that's weird because when Eric was in the room, they were playing You Spin Me Round. Right. <laughs> and that song came out in the 80s. Like, there was a TV and shit. That was the 80s right yeah. there. And, but it was this room still. So, what the fuck? Are we sure the hatch is this room? Can I go back to the I'm hatch I'm actually 100%. See? Okay. You know, but I get we it. don't I, see no, no. that the hatch is this room. No, no. No, no but like the, like the layout. Like, they did uh, the same the camera lay, angle yeah. and shit. Let, let's, let's, see, let's see. Eric was knocked out, taken through the cave or whatever, back to the future, back to the past hatch. There's no, the future hatch is a future hatch that looks like the way it is right now. But Eric was taken back to the past. But in, if you're saying that where he wrote 1953. Is here. Is, is in 1986, then he's cleaning up the old hatch. Wait, what? <laughs> I'll show you when he gets to it. <laughs> no, okay. I'm now, I'm, I'm pretty sure now Eric was taken back in time to this hatch. To what, what year? To the 80s when it was blue, not to the 50s where he... he but was... I don't think, if you're saying... But that they were not... just there in the 80s is when he wrote the 1953. Right, is what, they were in this room when he wrote the 1953. Yes. And we're assuming that that's in the 1980s. So maybe I, I'm like, so, is this room the hatch? Like, is this room the same room as the weird room? Is what I'm thinking. Like, is what I'm. I mean, yeah. I see the layout that you guys are talking about, but I think they're two different rooms. Maybe they're no. Right look at the door. The circles on the door, guys. Let me see. There, were there oh, circles yeah, yeah, on the there door. Are circles and the other room. And like, they're yeah. not gonna show a comparison of Helgi. Like. There were for sure circles on the door. Yeah, yeah. Go back. Yeah. This is so cool, Dustin. You should put a side by side image. I don't. know I could how, be a detective. This is cool. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure, okay. I feel like we're all three detectives in a movie where Rana's, like, the main character. And we're just like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, How can we me. assist? So I think the blue wallpaper, okay, it's like, I think they set it up to make the kid feel comfortable or some shit See, in there. three dots on the door. Oh, fuck me. That's so cool. It is the same room. What? the hell is going on so i just want to say this too hell if that's helgi his clothes are very similar like i mean i'm I'm sorry his clothes are very 1920s like you said like that doesn't seem like a 50s outfit i just said yeah no i just said it was a 1920 because that's 20 years back so if this is 1920 years back back. that's what i meant So everything 30 years before 1953 is 1920. So it would be 33 years, 1920, and then 33 years, 1953, and then 33 years, 1986, and then 33 yeah. years, 2019. Okay. So we have four years that we're so, looking at here. All right, but guys, I don't know when this, this fucking This is futuristic hatches. shit, like the lamps, the TV, blah, blah, blah. So Helgi, obviously, in the 50s. I don't know, bro. He could be the motherfucking priest. Like, this, this doesn't no, need to be Helgi. What if this priest. was What if this was the priest? Because those clothes do look like they're not... I'm not an expert, but those don't look like 1950s clothes to me. Could we have two hatches, possibly? No. Nah, this is like that room. I just like... No, the question is the question is honestly... Like, I know we're saw one thing about many things on this episode, but it, honestly, yeah. Why is there blue paper? But then, like... Huh. This boy is from the 1920s. How does... How but do but you it's his ears missing, so yeah. it is Helgi. It's Never definitely mind. Helgi. This is definitely Helgi. So it's, it's the 50s. Helgi. It's the 50s then. It's the, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think the hatch answer will come later. Because it is a question like how this 50s or 30s kid is in this futuristic kind of room. But then like you see the priest writing this shit on like the walls like that. Okay, I so you see how Helgi just woke up mm-hmm. like that? Okay, keep discussing. I want to go back to it. Oh, no. Episode. That's all I really to say. But anyway... So Maz has been dead for, you know, we all thought Maz was dead for 10 years, but he was really dead for like uh, 10 hours or some shit. Yeah. Or not 10 years. He was only dead for 10 hours versus the years of people every Yeah, thought. it would be 33 years that you would think that he's dead after he went missing. So like, but they killed said, him. But she said like, was he preser- preserved? Preserved, oh. yeah. But she said 10 hours when clearly at least four days passed, right? Or no. When they when they received the body, like he, been... he was he was dragging Mads' body out. But they found Mads' body on the fifth of twenty nineteen. Right, and he escaped on the fifth of twenty nineteen fifty three. But then, whose body was he dragging out right there on November 9th, nineteen eighty six? He was dragging Mads out, right? I don't know. You guys said Mads. I don't think that was Mads. I actually. don't know who it was. Yeah, go back because like look at the shirt and everything. It was a checkered. Uh, checkered. Who, who had the red necklace? Mads did. You sure. I'm pretty sure. They showed his picture with the album several times with him and Ulrich. I mean, I wish. Because it's definitely I not Eric. I think it was Mads. 
Could it have been Yasin? No. I mean, yeah, it could be Yasin. But, like, go back, man. Oh, I'm in episode two. Whoops. I wanted to check something out in episode two real quick. Anyway, so, okay. Ulrich eventually starts reading the Mads report and sees that Helgi was involved. And now how he thinks that freaking he's involved in the Yasin and Mikkel disappearance as well. And that's why I do think Helgi's involved majorly. So, oh, yeah, this I is guess. from episode two. I remember because I wrote this down in our notes. There's Hooded Man, uh-huh. who I think is Jonas. And then, he's looking at the dead bird. And I think this is 2019. Yeah, this is this is 2019. Yeah, they're like out searching for Mikkel still here. And Jonas wakes up. Right. So like last time oh, that happened, you think that Kelly that's... woke up. Okay, yeah. Thinking yeah. when he was remembering himself in the past with the missing ear. You think this is okay? And that's if, why that I see might a be connection. further proof that that's Jonas. If he's like, but even though they're in the same time period at this time, I don't know. He's like waking up as if it's a memory almost. This is episode two. Are you trying mm. to go to somewhere else? No, I'm just trying to see if I can see you. Picture of Mads. <laughs> There's a room. Eric's in it. So the room is. And Eric's in 2019. Do you want to see if the room looks any, any different in this episode? Like, is there anything different we can notice about it? It looks brighter. This That's is good. I'm sorry yeah. if I'm confusing you guys further. But yeah. did you notice how when he woke up from the dream, it was like a direct transition from yeah. mm-hmm. Hooded Man? I just don't think those transitions are coincidences, especially when they show Helgi wake up like a similar way. What? Well, we have uh, seven episodes worth of notes, and we're still fucking confused. So, so Charlie goes into the plant cave. I feel like I confused you guys a little more. I'm sorry. No, you I didn't. You didn't confuse me at all. I'm just. So, what do you guys think it means when Helgi said, "I can change the past and the future"? He, I mean, he was about maybe to maybe not kill Mads. Like, but how? Like, how can you change the past and the future? Like, what is it? What power does he have? He looks like he's the priest sidekick. Sidekick, if anything, you know what I mean. Right, well, maybe he can stop it as a sidekick. In the same way that the um, uh, the stranger was talking to Ulrich and saying, like, every decision you make creates another decision or whatever. What did mm-hmm. he say? Every decision for something is a decision against it's something, something else. else. Maybe in that same way, the priest was, like, giving tutelage to uh, Helgi. And so now maybe Helgi's thinking he can go back in time and just fuck with everything and stop it from happening. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, well, because of that freaking... <laughs> Ulrich is suspended now, so... <laughs> Look, I am writing without looking at the book because I had to read subtitles, okay? <laughs> I saw you missing dialogue over here. No! Yeah. I... Mm. No! You can, you can, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I can understand German. <laughs> I gotta be like... Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. He's coming back. Um, I don't know. I still don't know. Hey, at least we can stop arguing about the timeline, though. Yeah. It's just one timeline. Renault was right. We were very wrong. So you can't go back and forth. So that is my bad. I mean, no, but she's not necessarily right. No, I think I think he said every decision it is a decision against something else. That means if Jonas wanted to, he could have fucked it up. He could have fucked it up. And if he sure. fucked it up, we we don't know if it would have magically changed things in the future he did, he or if it would have no, changed the, the timeline. The, the guy said you'll disappear. You think it? Oh, he, he said you'll disappear. You yeah, go back. He said you you won't you'll cease to exist. Like you okay, won't, yeah. so it's, it's, yeah. It's, so right. I think it's just one. Yeah, it's okay, just one okay, timeline. Okay, yeah. okay. He okay. said he said a life for a life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he like, Jones, don't meddle. And in my question in all this... He thing, literally said you'll disappear. I mean, not disappear. He said you... He said a life for a life. That's what here, he said. Go, I here, remember back. You're saying that. Just for me. That doesn't mean you'll disappear. Just go back to that in one moment. But like, I just find that really interesting that he came and found him. Like, what is Jonas's role in all of this? Like, Mikhail... It's really like, important. Because he didn't have to know all this, by the way. Like, he didn't have to know, like, his dad is future man, past man, and find this cave and everything like i feel like he was meant to yeah man look the opening of this episode is yes. regina uh and then regina in her past up. waking up 
and like, and then it was Helgi waking up. Like, I, I, I swear, think, that, I think I, I think I Jonas, think I agree with Jonas you is you. the herded yeah. guy. All okay. right, well, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching Dark with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Explorin Dylan, Clayton Davis, Aaron, Joe Mags, Harry McFan, Mr. Momus, Nick Comfort, Frower House, Keyboard Junkie, and ZJP. And we will see you all next time.